Hello everyone and welcome to the NASCAR Cup Series Yellowwood 500 from Talladega. In the second race of the round of 12 of the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs, we're going to get this one underway with Chase Elliott, Mark Joyce on the front row, Tyler Reddick and Chase Briscoe row 2, Suarez Hamlin row 3, Bowman Chastain, then Harvey Kyle Busch row 4 and 5 as we are green here at Talladega. Who will someone advance the next round? How many big ones and how many vehicles will be involved in them? Well, we shall see. So Chase Elliott clear for the lead right off the bat here at Talladega. Everyone else going two and three wide behind them. And Ross Chastain just turned like Kyle Busch and we're already crashing big time. We got cars for going over the big one down the back stretch on lap one at Talladega. Cars are up and over. Harrison Burton upside down. Custer up and over. Cars crashing everywhere. A big crash. William Byron's in it. Kyle Larson is in it. Chastain. Keslowski is involved. Many playoff drivers with huge playoff implications already on the first lap. And Chase Elliott will be your leader as they race back to the start finish line to take the caution flag. Is oh my goodness. Right off the bat, Chastain got turned in a huge wreck. Got triggered with Harrison Burton going up in the air. So a caution for that right off the bat. That is wild. And so Elliott. Your leader under this caution of this big wreck that's going to take out many playoff drivers. It all started by Kyle Busch turning Ross Chastain down the track right into Bowman. And then Bowman was able to save everyone else behind him. Got completely destroyed. So we quickly look at some pit stops here to see who wins the race off pit road. It's going to be Suarez as we go back underway on left six at Talladega. Daniel Suarez, your Texas winner, trying to go and win back to back races here at Talladega with Truex behind him and Briscoe Reddick and Kyle Busch in the top five right now as you see the pack already three and four wide towards the back of the field they're getting aggressive still out to that big pileup so I see the field size depleted heavily and a lot of cars off the pace now somehow William Byron guys like that still hanging in the race they focus on the five of Kyle. Oh, William Byron says going anywhere down the racetrack. They're going to save it back there. What a save. That's now Larson following Chastain in the shove from Ty Gibbs up there. Ty Dillon Bullock is focusing on the second pack right now. But it seems to be interesting bow. Meanwhile, at the front is still Daniel Suarez. I mean, there's still three, four wide bowing for the lead right now at the front of this field. It's getting, it's getting wild, boys. Briscoe and Reddick are now fighting for the race lead. This is crazy, but we go back to that pack here as they get ready to go side by side for position. Balicki and Chastain. <coughs> so, Chastain is going to get turned right there to Balicki down the racetrack. They go, Balicki spins. He's going to come up the racetrack right into Kyle Larson. Huge crash. Larson upside down, tumbling down turn three and four. Larson over and over. Barrel rolling down the turn three and turn four, and another playoff driver knocked out of this race. Italy, and Balicki will be out as well. Ty Gibbs will be out from this wreck. Chastain will be okay, as I believe they score Redick as the leaders. A four wide for third. Now we get back underway on lap 12. Martin Truex leading the way in the restart with Redick second, Briscoe third, Harvick fourth, and now Chris Busher running in fifth place. It's already two crazy wild crashes. The, you know, the first big one lap one, they had a second vicious crash with Larson going upside down and tumbling over and over. And now, will we have a third one? I mean, that's the way it seems to be going so far as Talladega has continued to live up to its reputation with constant chaos and big wrecks. Now Briscoe goes inside of Truex for the race lead. As we make one lap under green for the first time, or basically the second time. So we get a big lap under green. Briscoe now in the lead. Harvick in the second. The entire inside lane going by. Busher, Suarez, Wallace. Here comes Daniel Hemrick in the 16 going by on the bottom. Truex is getting passed rapidly here as the 14 and Briscoe now in the lead. Harvick second. Chris Busher right there in third. Suarez fighting Wallace for fourth. You see Truex fall further back. Moving spots down to Almarola, maybe Joey Logano. Uh, meanwhile, still Chase Briscoe trying to hold off the field. But how about Bubble Wallace and Chris Busher? We got three non playoff drivers running one, two, three right now at Talladega. Hey, how about Daniel Henrik up there as well, having a great run. Uh, 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 Tyler Reddick as well. So, you know, we got the top four all non playoff drivers. And now the top, yeah, the top four 
all non-players. So they're all they're going on the apron. We got cars going everywhere. This is really close quarters here. We got two and three wide cars getting almost getting spun down on the apron of the racetrack. Still the Briscoe leading, but here comes Bubble Wallace on the outside lane. And the 45, but Tyler Reddick has a big run on the bottom as the outside lane dies out for now. Now here goes Tyler Reddick on the inside of Chase Briscoe for the race lead. The big shove from Chase Elliott. Harvick takes him three wide for third. And to the line, they'll give the lap lead there to Briscoe, but he's got pressure from Reddick and a big shove from Bubble Wallace. And now Tyler Reddick will go to the lead on the inside lane with a big shove from Chase. Oh, and there he goes, he gets turned. Reddick around, Elliott crashing, big hit. Henrik Truex, Harvick's crashing, Al Rollins crashing, Suarez is in it, Logano is in it, Kyle Busch involved. A huge crash here at Talladega. Once again, somehow no one else gets involved. But a huge hit back there for Logano. Harvick gets spun, Reddick is destroyed, he's done for the day. Truex heavy contact, big play publications there. As they race back to the line, it's going to be Bubble Wallace and Chase Risco on the restart, but Stenhouse stayed out, so rookie Stenhouse leads on this restart on lap number 20 here at Talladega, which has been an absolutely chaotic race as we have 31 to go in stage one. Stenhouse leads Wallace. Austin Dillon is back there in third place. As it continues to be very, very... Intense racing at Talladega. We've already had three, four big crashes. Stenhouse getting a very risky shove there from Eric Jones. They're holding his bubble wall to 45. Now driving away with the race lead here at Talladega. Everyone else trying to get what positions they can here. Bowman making a charge up to the front. Denny Hamlin is up there. So Bubba Wallace leads that lap comfortably over Stenhouse and Eric Jones. Of course, we know Bubba Wallace to be a great super speedway racer. So he's doing a great job as usual. Now Swords and Elliott get a big shove on Bowman here. Trying to move up on the bottom line behind Briscoe and Jones. As Stenhouse, Hamlin, and Busher control the outside lane. As you see in the back, a bunch of cars off the pace and damage like Joey Logano, Kyle Busch. Limping around is now there. Three, four wide here. Bowman, Elliott, there was four wide. Chase Elliott is going to turn the 40 into Bowman. And there he goes, crashing Bowman into Byron. Big hit. It's hard on the wall goes Byron. Bowman significant damage and they both go crashing here at Talladega the 48 and the 24 huge playoff implications because of their own teammate Chase Elliott just took out two of his teammates because he was too aggressive that's why he's on Mickey Mouse winner as Bubba Wallace is your leader on the restart on lap 26 at Talladega after the Byron and Bowman crash which obviously knocked the 24 complete out of the race I'm not sure about the 48 but I think he might be out of the race as well yeah, so Byron and Bowman both knocked out of the race from this big crash that we just witnessed. So Wallace leads Jones second, Briscoe third, Suarez trying to block, I mean Busher trying to block Suarez on the bottom, there he goes, Jones came down in front of him, Busher gets turned hard into the outside wall, and he comes down on the track, gets drilled by Cody Ware. A big hit, Ware and Busher would both be out of the race after this vicious crash right there, Ware T-boned. Chris Busher right in the middle of turn four as Bubble Walls leads back to line over Briscoe, Suarez, Jones, and everyone else. So now we restart on lap 31. Bubble Wallace continues to dominate this first portion of this race here with that fast number 45 root insurance Toyota Camry. Behind him we have Briscoe, Blaney, Stenhouse, and Elliott, the top five for the moment. But it has been an absolute wreck fest so far at Talladega. As honestly we expect, the way this weekend has gone with the truck race and Xfinity race on Saturday. Both were chaotic. Oh, there was Daniel Suarez in the back. He's crashing. Him and Kyle Busch, big hit in the back there going around. I think at this point in the replay, I didn't catch it till we came back to the line to the yellow. So that's uh, my mistake. But big hit back there for the 99 of Suarez. As Wallace leads us back to the yellow. So we check with Daniel Suarez to see what happened here. And as we see, as you just saw in the back of the real time, we saw Suarez hook McLeod and Suarez get hooked by Kyle Busch. Play from vacation, the Suarez gets turned up the track, a hard hit in the outside wall, and spins almost into Michael McDowell, but spins out of harm's way. That would pretty much be the end of Suarez's competitive day. So Kyle Busch takes out Suarez, your Texas winner. So yeah, Suarez is out of the race. And now, back underway on lap 36. Bubba continues to lead. With his good friends Ryan Blaney and Chase Elliott behind him on the inside lane. Then you got Chase Briscoe on the outside. And then behind them Stenhouse and Dillon side by side for fifth. The battle continues here. Very little playoff drivers left in the race. You have Chase Elliott 
Eric Jones, Kyle Busch, that's about it. We got about three of them left in this race. As the intensity continues to ramp up. As Bubba now getting a big shove from Ryan Blaney in the 12. Elliott sticking behind him in third. Now Stenhouse clear of Briscoe into fourth. As Bubba Wallace leads the way here at Talladega. Now we move on to lap 40. Chase gonna make sure he's gonna spin Stenhouse up the track. They go hard hit. Upside down goes Chase Elliott and Chase Briscoe. They're flipping down the back straight away. Up and over. Barrel rolling for Chase Briscoe again. Oh my goodness. Stenhouse, Briscoe, and Elliott all be knocked out of the race because of the huge one at the back stretch to Talladega. Vicious flips. Knocking out playoff driver Chase Elliott, your regular season champion. Uncertain. As then we move on to lap 50. Ryan Blaine leading on the last lap of stage one. Austin Dillon second. Kyle, uh, Eric Jones third. Kyle Busch, Bubba Wallace fighting for fourth. And Almarola back in sixth. Who can pull off the stage win? As we see Dillon to the bottom. The big shove from Jones, he'll go underneath Blaney. And then Jones takes them three wide. They're going to be three by three. Coming to the line, side by side at the line. It's Dylan. Austin Dillon wins stage one at Talladega. And they'll score Blaney second, Jones third. And then Kyle Bushworth, Wallace with Amarillo sixth. BJ McLeod seventh. Tyler Reddick eighth. Austin Sindrick ninth. And Ricky Stenhouse earns the last stage point. Now we won the last lap of stage two. Nothing has happened since the end of stage one here on lap 100. The end of lap stage two. It is Kyle Busch, Bubba Wallace. The only two really competitive here at the front who have pulled away after pit strategy. So they are about to lap Ricky Stenhouse. And they have Suarez who's about to go three laps down in front of them. So lap traffic influencing the finish of stage two. As you see Blaney and Dylan back there. Third and fourth. They're going to run out of time to catch these guys. But Kyle Busch wants the stage win in the playoff point, but Bubba Wallace wants to keep that track position to go for the race win as they put Suarez three laps down. But Wallace is clear now. He clears Suarez. He goes to the bottom to get to the house. Kyle Busch going to the bottom, not really going to have enough momentum. As they come to the line, Bubble Wallace will win stage two at Talladega just as he laughs. Stenhouse is he going to turn one, but we'll just turn upside down. Bubba gets to up and over. Ricky Stenhouse dumps your stage two winner, Bubba Wallace, after the caution flag. And just knocked your stage two winner out of the race completely. I don't believe it. They just knocked Bubba out of the race. Which is wild. Now we cut all the way to two to go in this race. Once again, a very calm final stage because there's so little cars left running. I mean, there's only like uh, six, five cars basically on track. Yeah, there's five cars on track. They're all together here. Blaney is leading, looking for his first win this season. As Jones is second, they're the only two on lead lap. Austin Dillon is one lap down in third place. Jones looking for a spot in the round of eight with a victory here at Talladega. He's got to get something going to catch up to Blaney. His only hope here is the lap cars of Suarez and Reddick. Of course, Reddick being four laps down, Suarez being seven laps down. Blaney gets blocked by Suarez with their big run to Eric Jones. He goes all the way up to the top, gets a run going for the lead in the spot in the next round of the playoffs. And then Suarez goes up and blocks the 43. And now Blaney smooth sailing to get his first win of the season and keep a playoff driver from winning here at Talladega. Probably to help his teammate, the 22 and Joy Liano, who came in this race one point below the cut line. Now Jones, followed by Torres, he's got basically three lap cars in front of him now as Blaney can now just cruise to victory lane after a wild and chaotic wreck fest of a weekend at Talladega. It is going to be Ryan Blaney for Team Penske who is going to win at Talladega. He led 81 laps for his first win of the 2022 and our 2003 season. Of course, Blaney missed the playoffs, but now he gets that win here at Talladega. As we continue to have extreme parity with this next-gen car. And now we will see the standing shortly after the big win for Blaney. But Jones still gets a very respectable second that will help him tremendously in the playoff point standings. Heading to the cutoff at the Charlotte Roval. As we see, Suarez, of course, like him his win. Kyle Busch looking good at 44 above the cut line. Harvick, 39 to the good. Jones, 31 to the good. Elliott, 26 to the good. Larson, 22 to the good. Those are pretty much everyone who I think will just no mistakes and they should be okay. Bowman, though, only 10 points above the cut line in 7th. Byron, only 9 to the good in 8th. Logano, 9 out in 9th. Then you have Kozlowski, 26 out in 10th. Truex, 27 out in 11th. And Chastain, pretty much a must win, 32 out in 12th. 
So until the next time, I hope you all have a good one.